Global Newscast for October 15th, 2016. Today on the newscast... The PlayStation VR dropped last week, or on Friday, rather. An Iron Fist trailer came to light. And we're going to just talk about Justice League ever so briefly. We're here. Welcome. Hello, everybody. And look, there's more of us today. Yeah. <laughs> or if you can't see us because you're listening to us on Google and or iTunes. Or didn't, because we had a oh, nice, right. we had a fancy <laughs> intro. There's names there. There is names right. there. <laughs> my name's Tony. I'm Nick. I'm Graham. This is Graham. Third voice. Third bassy voice. You've got a bass. He does. Say stuff. Hello. <laughs> that's actually, that's pretty. That's that is that it. That's pretty. Say Babies. sexy words. Sexy words. Imagine, <laughs> ima- imagine, Morgan, <laughs> imagine Morgan Freeman having a conversation with Samuel L. Jackson with... I don't know. Say hi, Graham. Hi, Graham. Hi, <laughs> Graham. I can't believe we pulled that joke out. It worked out. All right. All right. So, uh, if you heard from the intro, we got a, it's a pretty light week. Very light week. If you weren't yeah. the PlayStation VR... Or yeah, or yeah, Iron Fist. You essentially... it was pretty. It was very thin this week. Yes. So that's it. It is what it is. So let's let's just get started then. All right, my hand cuts off. The yeah, place. My, it was throwing me off there for a second. Yeah, let's get you, started. You lose a hand. That's fine. It's fine. So the PlayStation V. It is October fifteenth. PlayStation VR dropped yesterday or Thursday, something like that. Uh, and yeah, it is the. It, it, this is a big move for the virtual reality, you know, connoisseurs out there because it's sort of everyone's got a PlayStation Four, which can run VR, and it's also like six hundred dollars. And we we talked about this one last week, though. You it is it is six hundred dollars. It's also the cheapest of all three headsets. Oh, but you're not impressed with this headset. I or you weren't. I before. am not. I'm still not impressed with it. I want to have some more time with it. Mm-hmm. I obviously haven't purchased it because money. Right. Um, but I do think it's going to be really good for the environment. It's going to be really good for the ecosystem because everybody has a They're PlayStation green. 4. The, Sorry, the PlayStation. I did a dad joke. He's there. trying to make that. <laughs> Nick, trying. Tried, Nick tried one of those the other day, too, and it fell flat. So. You're green. <laughs> I was with you. I just... Spiritual. But yeah, like there's so many PlayStation 4s out there. The fact that it's going to have such a good penetration, I think it'll be good for the ecosystem. <laughs> penetrate. I'll penetrate your ecosystem. We're not that kind of show. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> We're getting there. Um, what are your thoughts on PlayStation? My or hope VR, he- actually. My hope cool. here is, I mean, with such a cheap system and all that like jazz, with the PlayStation controller getting so much Steam support. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. And then so, hopefully this could start making its and, way that way. And Sony has been pretty forthcoming with supporting their hardware on a PC. Yeah. And I mean, you look at the remote play stuff, you look at the DualShock 4, they're even releasing dedicated drivers for yep. PC for DualShock 4 now. Yeah, so you can grab your PlayStation 4 controller and actually use just it on plug it, Just Steam. plug it in. And it'll, depending on the game, it'll actually show the right inputs. Yeah. So... There's a possibility of that. Uh, people already found workarounds with the PlayStation VR to hook it up to Xbox Ones, PCs, and Wii U's. <laughs> um, the PlayStation VR has got like a cinematic mode where it's like it's got the screen in front of you and you can t- look around and it's like there's a TV in the virtual reality. So basically, they use the HDMI hook around to hook an Xbox in, a PC in, or a Wii U into the. The breakout box. So you can you can play your Wii U in virtual reality. Yes, that is the takeaway. Yes. Okay. It's dumb. It's completely dumb, but it's you can do it the way that the HDMI inputs work on the PlayStation VR. So I can I can put on the headset. Yes. I can grab my 
Wii U gamepad, which you cannot see. Which you can't see the Wii U gamepad. <laughs> <laughs> but I can grab, like, if I had an Xbox One, I could grab the Xbox yes. One controller, because yep. that makes at least more sense, because yes. you don't need to look at the controller. And in the VR will be a TV that I can play my Xbox on. Yes. But the TV in the VR won't be VR because it's just a single. It's just like a, it's a single, single plane. plane. It's right. a single plane. Yeah. So there's the use case of it. It's pretty thin. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't see why you would want to do that. But it's a you'd just poss- be sitting really close to the TV then. <laughs> essentially, <laughs> essentially, yeah, yeah essentially. <laughs> the, but I don't think you can do motion tracking when you do that because no, yeah. no. Uh, the way the camera works. Uh, my concern with the PlayStation VR is the tech that they use behind it. It's kind of dated. It's, and that's what you were saying the last time. Um, for you, yes. Graham. Um, the PlayStation VR uses the old PlayStation 3 motion tracking technology. You remember oh. those move controllers with oh. the bulbs on it? <laughs> yeah. yeah. They look like so, something dirty. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. A little. They've got, they've got a penetration on it. Uh, and so those are your controllers in VR. Because they've got motion controls, can, oh, the, yeah, the PlayStation yeah. 4 can track where it is in the virtual reality environment. On top of that, the headset, all around it has the lights, so it basically tracks it with the PlayStation camera. Because you need not only the PlayStation 4, but you also need the PlayStation 4 camera. Right. So it helps track the, the oh, lights on the headset. Yeah. So that you've got the lights on the front, and then the lights on the back, so that when you turn around, the console can still see which, fa- which way you're facing. But the problem with that is that it's, it's kind of a dated technology. If anything gets in the way of the cameras, it, you lose all tracking, which gets into the way of, you know, wooziness. You've got, oh, yeah. You know, you know, <laughs> I was going to say. Especially when you're in like, a, a game where you have to actually move around a little bit. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like basically you, you get motion sickness real fast. But there are fixes for that. I don't, I don't know of them because... I don't have six hundred dollars <laughs> to find out. Uh, I think when when the second iteration of the PlayStation hardware or the VR hardware comes out, or if it becomes cheaper and right. by any means, I think I will take the plunge because if you look at it from a consumer standpoint, it's still the cheapest of all the three headsets to get in. If you have no hardware at all, no computer, no PlayStation Four, it's still the cheapest one because to get into VR for the PlayStation, or actually go half step back. To get a PC to run the Oculus or the HTC Vive, you need a beast. You need, you need about a thousand dollars to a thousand five hundred dollars of a PC. Wow! On the PlayStation, you need the PlayStation Four and the launch bundle, which runs at about nine hundred dollars. So it's still really, really cheap. Yeah. Mm-hmm. In a consumer standpoint, which is it goes back to the whole, you know, really good for the virtual reality ecosystem. I'm, I I hope it. You know, Until virtual something. reality can. There's no real Have reason. force feedback. Because that's what I was thinking about the other day was, like, you know, if I'm playing a baseball game in VR. Or even a sword game. Or even a sword game where all of a sudden it's like, fight this monster, fight this thing. I'll be like, wah! And, you'll go and right in my it. brain it'll be like, you know, sword should go straight through whatever I'm cutting, whereas mm-hmm. they block and all of a sudden the sword in VR s- stops. That won't happen yeah. for a long, and, uh, long time. Yeah. And I know it won't, so that's even... my big thing is I'm sitting there going... I had a chance to try. I'll just be like this in my basement. Yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> and the thing just on screen like will be like ting, 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 ting. So some of the experience yeah. ones are cool. Like I yeah. found um, people were playing. They did a paranormal activity VR game. Mm. So there's actually you're in a house and something's haunting you, and you yeah. actually have to like. And there's people yeah. on the show floor like in the fetal position because they're just like I give up and like. Yeah. Some people like rip the head- headset off. They're like, no, 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 no. Yeah. You so can't it's, be- it's that kind of experience, which yeah. is. Cool, because you don't oh, yeah. need to physically you need to interact. interact. Like You're just yeah. like, oh my god, it's happening around me. Oh my god. And even just the little things where it's like, oh, I tried to lean over on this table that doesn't exist. And I love that guy. I, did you, I saw the video too. Oh, the guy playing pool? Yeah. So he's playing pool in VR and goes to <laughs> lean on the this table. Is pro- this is a professional ta- uh, pool player, by the way. Yeah, so. so he goes to lean on the table like you're supposed to do. And yeah. boom, boom. He literally like face, face plants down. Yeah. And it's like, oh, yeah, no, we should have expected that to happen. So that's my thing. That's that's my only, like, I've, I, I'm excited for VR. It's still so new. But it's still, yeah, there has to be a lot more advancement for me because that's my thing. Like, they throw me into a fighting game or a, ba- mm. like I said, baseball, you know, you swing. If I'm supposed to connect yeah. with something, yeah. or even catch something... Even if it's something, just like a little vibrate to tell you... Well, the, PlayStation, the, <laughs> yeah. the Vive and the PlayStation Move controllers do have yeah. force feedback, but not to the level of... Not that. to the... Yeah, where yeah. it's like... And especially sword fighting. That's my. I saw someone fighting something in a 
Japanese anime type game. Yeah. And yeah, they're they're hacking at this person's leg with their sword. Mm. Mm. And that's all you just see the person like <laughs> And then they have to like jump out of the way and that's the kind of VR games they're doing and I'm like I feel like I would like to get in there and actually <laughs> And, you know, again, if oh, I yeah, stab yeah. forward yeah. and the guy blocks it, my character still technically should be... Yeah, but there's a level of, uh, you know, how much force feedback are, is... If I get stabbed, done. I should die and have to go to the hospital. Well, I mean, that's a, different, <laughs> that's a whole different game. <laughs> that's what I'm looking for. But, yeah, like, virtual reality is still so new, but I'm really glad that all three headsets are out now. Because yeah. it'll give consumers an option to be like, hey, do you want well, a it'll super... Well, it'll spur competition. Right. And it's mm. like, oh, do you want a super high-end one that's really good tra- head tracking? Go for the Vive. If you want you know, a nice cheap one that you probably already have the hardware for, go get a PlayStation 4 or the PlayStation VR. Uh, if you want a, a garbage one, go, go for the oh, Oculus. Oculus. <laughs> <laughs> that's a whole different ballgame. That's, yeah, that's a, that's, that's, a different, a... that's a different newscast. <laughs> Palmer Lucky shot himself in the foot on that one. And VR for you... Mm. Thoughts, process. Yay, nay. Have you have you had an opportunity? I don't think I've ever tried one. Mm-hmm. Just yeah, uh, they're so yeah. new right now that very, not oh, yeah. many people right. have it. And I also always suffer from bad motion sickness. I'm always yes. afraid that if I'm gonna put one on and it's good and be done. Yeah. Or no. Right. I'm afraid of five seconds of it would be too much. I feel like racing games would be really racing good. Racing games are really good. Especially if you get the pedal and the actual... Anything, like, that, oh, has, yeah, yeah. anything that has a cockpit is really yeah. good. So racing, yeah. mech games... I was going to say mech warrior would be amazing. <laughs> that would be awesome. PlayStation VR is a mech warrior-ish <laughs> type yeah. game yeah. Out right now. So And uh, yeah. early reviews are saying that one's pretty good. Mech no... Warrior Online came out with that, with the giant spread that you could sit there on your like... Oh, <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I think that game would be easier with that. Yeah. It would be. And that's what I say. Because like, you'd have to... a great view, field of view. Because that's my yeah. thing with driving games. Mm. Is like, and a lot of them now, you can. You can shoulder check and do all the... But you have to, like, maneuver your hands on a controller yeah. so your the camera goes. And it's very not like driving. The Kinect yeah. versions of Forza are really weird because they have the camera. Yeah. And then to do the shoulder checking, you turn your head. But it's like... You have to turn your head but keep your eyes ex- this way. Yeah. I expect yeah. myself to be looking forward still, but... Yeah. Like... I, I'm, that's that's cool. what I mean, like, with the VR stuff, actually driving. And I mean, not that I'd ever be able to actually drive a race car. Because, <laughs> but actually being in there and with all of that jazz, and then, yeah, you're going like, okay, there's a guy coming up this way, so if I, you know, if I can maybe mm. cut him off a bit or if I can do this. Like, you can actually drive mm. Mm. if you know how to drive. Yes. If you don't know how to drive, then you're and just then, like, why can't, well, why am I looking at the roof? Right. And on top of that, if you get one of those nice Ford Fees, Ford Force Forza. feed, force feed feedback. Wheels. Yeah, some of oh, those yeah. wheels are real good when it comes. Oh to yeah, it feels oh, like yeah. you're actually that, so tech, that technology has been out for it forever. Has, yeah, <laughs> so. VR, right? so couple that with VR. Yeah, yeah. I'm taking down all the things that I can put as tags in the video. Uh, that's, what Nick's, that's what Nick's writing. You're cheating. I am. <laughs> Otherwise, I have to do this after as I'm posting the video. Like, what, is what did we talk about today that I can put in the tags? But yeah, PlayStation VR dropped. And I am interested. I just don't know if I want to throw six hundred dollars. Yeah, to that's get it. kind of my biggest opinion on it. Is wait till it's. And I mean, it's still yeah, it's yeah. still pretty cheap in the grand scheme of things, but yeah. it could be cheaper. But I mean, that's like when the PlayStation Three came out with the Blu-rays attached, and they were the cheapest Blu-rays. But they uh-huh. were still that was a bundle of money back when they dropped. Mm-hmm. Right. But they were that was the cheap. That's why I bought a PlayStation Three. Yep. Is the cheapest Blu-ray think, player out there. I think a ton of people did that. Yeah, that's how and, they got them and, in the houses. And then they started building on, like, hey, oh, now you can do Netflix. Now you can do YouTube. Now you yeah. can... Oh, you, well, you can also play games on yeah, it Yeah, here's Uncharted. Yeah. And here, like, then they started releasing, actually, like... Stuff for it. Yeah. Right? And not The Last Guardian. You know. That's, or, that's not talking about that. It's still not out. Still not out. That is still not out. Why is that game still not out? <laughs> Wasn't it a PS3 launch title? Was it? I think it was, like, a mid... Or mid... mid like... Mid, yeah, mid, mid-cycle... Uh, whatever. Game. Either who. That's a different. That's a different topic. <laughs> Moving, Moving forward. <laughs> Iron Fist. Not to be confused with um, whatever that movie was that was also entitled Iron Fist. Man with the Iron yes. Fist. <laughs> so Which wasn't. That was. Well, I think it was. was that a Quentin Tarantino movie? I think no. so. I don't think Back so. Fact checking. Fact checking. It was. <laughs> but it, or it was Quentin Tarantino. Ex, like his inspired. Inspired. Yeah. Um, Back checking. 
Man with the Iron Fist, directed by... Oh, no, it's not, it's not directed by no. anyone. It's a martial arts film. No one? <laughs> they just put people in a room? <laughs> go! <laughs> and they did it. I think... can't say go. That's a director's oh, right. job. Ah, so they just did in the room. I, I think it actually, like, I wasn't a fan of the movie, but if that was the case, I don't think, I, I I think my watched. entire opinion on it would change. Directed by Riza. <laughs> <laughs> That's the rap guy. Yeah, so I knew oh. he was, I knew he was trying to go Quentin Tarantino esque with this whole yeah. thing. Oh, it's totally Quentin Tarantino. But uh, anyway. so ignore Man with the Iron Fist. We're not. We're, <laughs> we're not we're, let's not veer attention to something yeah. that's yeah. not good. <laughs> uh, let's veer direction back to the Netflix shows that so, Marvel keeps producing. This is the last one before we get the Defenders, right? Which is. All. Which is all of them put together. Or, yes. Okay, I got the right number. <laughs> you did, because Punisher is not involved in the Defenders, no. as far as we know. And see, I, didn't, I don't. No. I don't. He, I really doubt it. So he might turn d- up for like one little thing. Yeah, or and, they'll, at the very least, they'll name drop him like they know, or like they always do. Yeah. Mm. So we waited forever last week for this trailer to drop, and then as soon as we finished, it basically dropped. Yeah, we're filming, going like, let's stretch it out, see if we can see. wait for anything to go, wait for anything. Because last go. week, if you, you know, if you, you guys are sleeping under a rock, it was New York Comic Con. Yes. And so, a bunch of new comic movie news was dropping. They were doing comic stuff, and of course, Iron Fist and Marvel had a panel. Yep. And everyone was expecting them to drop a trailer, which they did, but yes. we didn't. Get we it. missed it by like. Like maybe an hour ish. Ish, yeah. Tony went home, and all of a sudden, it's like, "Hey, Iron Fist." Yeah, it's like, "Oh, okay, 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 I'll watch it now." So, Iron Fist is good. Iron Fist is good. So, the story of Iron Fist, because they don't tell it in the trailer, but the story of Iron Fist in the comics, at oh, least, super is yeah. super rich dude. Okay. Goes to learn. I think he's orphaned. I believe. He <laughs> doesn't. I don't think that matters. But Aren't they it's his all? Parents, which <laughs> is the big story. His parents are the big story. Either way, he ends up. And I'm not sure if his parents die while they're on a trip or whatever it is. But they he do. ends up. Yeah. So he ends up in this mystical Kunlong. realm. Yep. Kunlong, I think. Kunlong, and he ends up there, and they start training him in the art of kung fu. Oh, and the Iron Fist is like no, oh style. no, the oh, Iron Fist no. is a different thing. Too simple. Iron Fist is a different thing. Too simple. Now, <laughs> to gain his because he's got actual superpowers in the comics. so unlike unlike that he was like born with no no he, he trains he trains up his kung fu and to finish his training before he comes back to the land of okay. like everybody else he must complete his training by fighting a dragon. Well, that's named so essentially <laughs> dragon's named iron fist so essentially he ends up punching <laughs> okay. this dragon yeah. in the heart which gives him this tattoo that's the symbol on his outfits and stuff yeah. Yeah. and it also gives him the power of the iron fist so his fist glows in the comics and it has like an aura around it so everybody that's what the trailer was really leading yeah. to is Everybody's like waiting for this hand to glow because they're like, "Oh, this is gonna look so stupid." Oh no, his hand's awesome. So how do you do it practically and make it look cool? Yeah. So they've actually made. It's usually an outside aura. Yeah. They in the trailer they've made the aura come from like the inside of his. Hand. Oh, so like it's like. It emanates like a... all out of. So you're like, yeah. oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah. So essentially, yeah. the hallway fight scenes from Daredevil, cranked up to eleven. That's cool, because all, all I've seen of Daredevil he is, can, though, that So thing. he knows yeah. Kung Fu. He knows oh, more than I, or, or yeah, oh. He knows more than Daredevil. Yes, so oh, Daredevil's oh, okay. like, you know, he's trained. He's a street brawler. But yeah. he's more a street brawler, whereas Danny Rand... This, this might be cool. <laughs> ...is actually, like, yeah. built up to if you're gonna make Kung an, Fu. If yeah. you're going to make an analogy, it would be more along the lines of the Christopher Nolan Batman. Where he was trained he by, actually, yeah. Oh, like he was so. trained by ninjas. Yeah. So if, yeah. If there's any analogy out there, yeah, it'd be that one. So, but he's a super rich white dude. Again, who's yeah. trying to, yeah, who's trying to <laughs> save his portion of the city. Again, oh, and uh, <laughs> from crime, uh, basically. So, uh, so yeah, that's that's Iron Fist story. So the trailer, yeah, it shows off the fist. And I think that also dropped the date too. Because I think they announced March 2017. I believe they did, yes. <laughs> March 2017. And is that... This can be so weird. <laughs> Gets a power and Is that like a Netflix, it's... they drop the whole season? Or yes. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah, so you oh, can yeah. do... You can binge yeah, it. Yeah, yeah have fun with your weekend, basically. Because yeah. they're really smart. They drop it on Fridays. <laughs> oh, they, yeah, there we go. Yeah, they drop yeah. it Friday, like, evenings, so you can get home and be like... All weekend long. <laughs> like, Luke Cage, I thought was awesome. So following Luke Cage mm. with this mm-hmm. is going to be... So that was... That dropped last week, or... Ish. Yeah. Yep. Uh, but other than that, it's been a pretty thin week. It's been a pretty thin week, so we're going to talk about just because... He's here. 
just because he's here and he just watched wow. it. The Justice League trailer from New York Comic Con. I'm actually surprised you haven't you were able to I, not see it. I've never. I've done no. no. So, uh, what did you think of the Justice League trailer? We did a not a reacts video. No, a, a watches Graham, video. A Graham watches video. See Comic Con 2017. New York, San Diego Comic Con. Oh, San. It was a San Diego Comic Con. Uh. Well, there you go. Justice League is wrapped 18 hours ago. That's how we're building this story in. Yes, they, Justice just, League is just they finished, finished, ra- they finished finished filming. The, the principal photography is complete. Whew. No go backsies. <laughs> Uh-oh. That's worrying. <laughs> That's not an issue for me. I just don't have enough faith in the DC Universe movies. No. <laughs> so, what do you think of it? It... And you haven't seen Batman versus Superman? No, I haven't seen Batman. That, that, that helps. <laughs> I was going to say, like, that's a huge yes. like, a, a story point in the trailer of you know, super, why there's no Superman. Do you care if we tell you? Don't tell. Oh, spoilers from Batman yeah. and Superman? Yeah. He sure, gets stabbed in the heart. So he's dead. Superman's dead. 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 I. Oh, in air quotes, dead. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Of course, they wouldn't kill off Superman. Well, it's well, kind of like, no. How the how the record's been going? <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> Just leave well, him dead for a while. Screw it. <laughs> we're, we're dead. He's dead. Anyways, my one thing with before you get going that trailer is yeah. you have a young Flash because mm-hmm. he's younger than the rest of the team kind of like yeah. him and the cyborg are kind of kids and, that, and that's historic though that's that's but traditional in my brain again i sit there going you have a show on tv with a kid who's already I, that old always been it's my not, opinion we already know the pair like the the parallels of those two the tv and the movies it's like yeah. the, t- the tv blows everything out of the water yeah and, and that may not have the special effects right yeah. but it's got the story but and that's my opinion has always been you have this hugely successful tv shows and then you have these movies that aren't doing well. Can't you, like, just... It, does, it, is it too logical to be like, let's just throw those guys in the movies? They've actually... Been, and then... They've actually played yeah. around with that a little bit. Um, the, when Warner... Or, not Warner... Was it Warner Brothers? Yeah, they, when they were asked, like, oh, you know, is Barry Allen from the TV show going to be in the, the movies? Mm-hmm. And same thing with the Green Arrow. And they were kind of sly in saying, like, they exist in the same realm... Because of the whole multiverse thing that the DC oh, does, right, yeah, so there's going to be one though. universe yeah. which is just Legends of Tomorrow, Flash, Green Arrow, Supergirl, uh, in one un- in one bubble. Because there's and then there's, super, gonna, there's I think there's a Superman now in Supergirl. There is, yeah, who is better than him? Yeah, so yeah. much better. So uh, wait, are they <laughs> killing off the movie one and then being like, no, that's, not, that's, <laughs> a, that's a that's a conspiracy theory <laughs> more so than anything. Flashpoint <laughs> happened at some point. We're not going to tell you when, but. And everything's together. And you know what? Flashpoint is still kind of confusing because they changed a lot of the... Flashpoint's supposed to be confusing. <laughs> and you know, they're, they're lucky. They had no Batman to deal with Yeah. <laughs> in the TV shows. Well, that's like the New 52 when it started in the comics. They kind of reset everybody. Oh, yeah. But they didn't reset everybody to like point zero. Some people got to keep certain pieces. Oh. So Bruce Wayne yeah. came out of it, whatever that episode right. was that turned New 52 into the thing. Yeah. Bruce Wayne came out of it with all three of his, well, his son and his two wards. So Dick Grayson, um, Jason, Jason and Todd. Todd, and whatever his kid was. I'm not, maybe he didn't have the kid, but he had three, like, yeah. guys with him now who lived with him. Okay. Like, they didn't move off and yeah. do their own thing. They were all still together. No one was fighting. No one was dead. No one was... This is how confusing the DC stuff is. <laughs> uh, it, comics in general are confusing. Right, but... But uh, DC goes that extra mile when they want to be like, we're going to converge everything back together and just keep all the good stuff. Oh, yeah. Because that's what happened ages ago. When, a clean slate, but... When they first announced the multiverse, yeah. they had a Superman that was like, I am Superman and uphold justice and good for all. Mm-hmm. And I'm not a dick. And then another writer would get a hold of Superman and be like, I am a giant dick wall. <laughs> and they're like, how do we explain these two? Like, there's a oh, jerk Superman yeah. and this ideal Superman. So they're like, there's two Earths. And then it's like, well, this Superman's kind of a wimp. So we're going to third world. And then all of a sudden they're just like, we can do whatever we want as long yeah. as we put Earth and so, two, five, 61 in front of it. It doesn't matter. And that's kind of how DC's talking about the movies it's yes. like or in the entire cinematic yeah. universe rather so it's like it's like, like in morty yeah <laughs> yeah times yeah. 10 
No. Where it's like, oh, then the Christopher Nolan Batmans is another universe, so just keep that over there kind of thing. Oh, and the, the Kevin Costner Batmans just over there kind of thing. That's kind of... Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton. Sorry, I get those two mixed up. Michael Keaton. I got you covered. We're right. right. So there's, they're not saying that they're the diff- like in a, one bubble, but they're pretty... They're pretty coy about not saying yes or no. We're not going to have, yeah. you know, Grant Gustinson on the movie screen. Yeah, I want to see all the Batman's fight now. Like, for, like get them all in one. <laughs> Michael Keaton's a little old. <laughs> George. Clooney. Hey, he tried to do it in Birdman. That's fine. Michael <laughs> Keaton. Michael Keaton. Val. Val Kilmer. 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 Uh, George, George Clooney, Clooney. Christian Bale. Ben Aff- I'm giving it to Ben Affleck. <laughs> oh my God! And and. And Adam West. Yeah, <laughs> yeah do it. <laughs> he wins only because he sprays everybody with anti-Batman spray. Or something. No, it's it's a shark spray. <laughs> shark spray. You not seen the original Batman no. movie? Oh, oh bad. It's, He's hanging from the good. helicopter. There's a shark that attaches to his <laughs> leg, and then he pulls from his utility. No, belt. He, t- he gets Robin to bring it from the. Oh, helicopter. that's what happened. Robin, bring me the anti-shark repellent. So Robin, in all of his glory, goes upside down on the rope and starts shimmying down to hand him the bat shark repellent, to which he sprays the shark, the shark falls into the water and explodes. <laughs> Just like real life. <laughs> but the shark was actually, it was meant to explode, but it was meant to explode while it was on Batman, because it was a trick by the penguin. Oh. The, the, oh. Spoilers. Oh, okay, the, 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 the repellent didn't blow up. The no, shark. the repellent was not <laughs> okay. the reason the okay. shark like... Which, when you, watch, when you watch the movie, you're like... Batman just blew up a shark. Like, <laughs> that's, a, that's a real good repellent. <laughs> what else does it work on? <laughs> kind of the right? Either ways. Yeah, the, so... Out, yeah, the DC's been pretty coy about saying all the movies exist in the same universe, but not really. So back to Graham. Not seeing Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice, are you at all wanting to see, like, Batman? Or not, like, Batman, but, Justice League? After seeing it's that, it's the only one that's that really you... caught in my interest. Yeah, it's an ensemble movie, right? Yeah. yeah, it's basically the takeaway. So, if you're interested, you can totally watch it. It's not out for a very long time. No, no. you still have Wonder Woman before that. Yes, oh, right. we do with her lasso of truth. Woo, and Chris, Chris Pines. Chris Pine. Yep. Yep. And see, that's my problem when they put people like that into the movie, is Wonder, Wonder, Wonder Woman, is they put... Um, he could have been so much better. He could have been so much better somewhere else, and now he's stuck in World War One. Oh. No, they'll just do it, the Captain America thing. Oh, are there doing the Captain America thing for Wonder Woman? That's yes. kind of cool. No, it's not. See, the cool part with with Captain America is World War Two actually had, like, you know, it guns is. and mechanics and fighting. World it wasn't trench warfare. And what are you going to do with Wonder Woman? <laughs> it's Wonder Woman. She's already bullet. Just Wonder dude. Woman sitting in a muddy trench. With... <laughs> and she's got, like, her... her everything going So that's on. my like, thing. She like... can block bullets. It's going to be like Battlefield 1 where they're going to have to make World War 1 look way more exciting than it ever oh was. God. That's the point. So <laughs> someone needs to block Battlefield 1 and put Wonder Woman in it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. So that's my piece. Is you sit there going, like, you know, let's jump across like she what she can jump like she's got powers mm-hmm. so she's going to jump across the field of death she flies l- land in yeah she can fly it land in the other trench beat the snot out of everybody there and then be like war's over guys job done yep. like uh, at least captain america could get shot could get this could get there's that. and there's tanks involved and yeah. they go sci-fi with theirs so there is you know oh, yeah, cause hydra has Cool the world. They've got stuff. tech. Yeah. They've, got the, they've got the cos, not Cosby Cube, the Tesseract. The Tesseract, and they've got other, like you know, they, they've got. There's a reason for it. They've got equipment, and they've like, yeah, they've sci-fied World War Two, and you're going, yeah, it's Hydra. Yeah. And you know, and you yeah. know what? Honestly, my thoughts between the Wonder Woman movie is that DC hasn't earned that right to do a World War movie with Wonder Woman. Whereas in the DC universe or the Marvel universe, rather, yeah. it's like Captain America's coming. We know his backstory. He gets frozen in ice. So we got to see that happen. But Whereas Wonder Woman, they haven't oh, yeah, built any sense. of that story up with between Themyscira. Yeah. They haven't built up yeah. any reason for her to leave. It's just like, why do I care about what... Like, I pop in and out of the timeline every once in a while when the world needs me. Did they even build that up at all? No. Like, oh, So they didn't even build up she could like, Batman v Superman, run around in time. Batman no, no. v Superman is literally... They threw her in so they could call it Dawn of Justice. Yep. Oh, so she was enough. a set piece. Oh, because she's yeah, yeah, yeah. Because she's and one of the founding one, members. like the th- trio. Yeah. yeah. So, but they threw her in literally as a like, "Hey, I'm Wonder Woman," and then they could put her in the trailer. 
So the I first few seconds that. of that movie is going to be. Again, this is why she can be in World War I. And again, she, <laughs> yeah. I think yeah. she's had like a total of maybe 10 minutes in maybe. the entire movie. Like she had as much time in Dawn of Justice as Batman had in Suicide Squad. I'd say she had, when I say Batman had less. Maybe a little bit less. But he had, the big, chase, he had a chase scene. Yes, but she didn't have a fight scene though. Like the big ensemble yes. fight scene at the end. Uh, yes. So yeah, she got that piece. A little bit more. But again, like my thought process is they, DC hasn't earned the right to make a Wonder Woman movie because I don't know why I, I need to see a Wonder Woman movie. I don't feel the need to watch it. Whereas Captain America, yeah, I need to see you know his Especially backstory. When, and the funniest part was is they used Captain America as the launch point really for the Avengers at that of point course. because it, he was the first Avenger. Right. So they mm. threw that subtitle in oh, and yeah. you go... And you know, they've talked about yeah. S.H.I.E.L.D. Yeah. And they talked about S.H.I.E.L.D. They've talked about all the, the, yeah, the history that mm. they've built in the universe in that world... And in my mind, again, Captain America was born in World War II. Mm -hmm. That's his entire actual actual story. He is the way he is because he wanted to fight in the war, went through the experiments, and there he is. Wonder Woman, if her whole story is, I travel through, you know, like I come back. I'm a wandering. I'm a wandering warrior. Yeah, I come back when the Earth needs me. Yeah. Why do World War pick something else? And if she can be ancient, See, like that would be the coolest part. Do Troy, right. do Troy properly. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that'd be that'd be that could have been so much. Or, and that could tie into the, your kind of point about Captain America. She, she, okay, I might not. I'm going out on my. I don't know anything it's about totally, DC, but she's an Amazon warrior. You're yep. already in Greek mm-hmm. myth. Yep. Why Make your just, first big event. Yep. Do a Greek Herc- myth. Go Hercules. Go, go like Hades. Do the yeah. do that stuff. Any that, of that stuff. And all those characters exist as characters in the DC universe, not as the Greek mythology characters. But it's oh, like, yeah. oh, this guy's super strong. He's invincible. Yeah. They called him Hercules. Yeah. They mm-hmm. had Mephisto. Not not Mephisto. That's Marvel. Um, the, the yes, God of War. Yeah, of Ares. Old, Ares. They had yeah. other. They had all those characters, but then yeah. it was ste- they were inspired by Greek mythology, but they mm. had. Kind of like, kind of like Thor, that yeah, inspired like by North Myth- Norse, Norse mythology, yeah. but not but like, tweaked. But yeah, but so yeah. that and so DC do a ha- Thor movie. No, yeah. basically, the, no, that's that's Aquaman. That's Aquaman. That's Aquaman's thing. True, but that's like at the same thing. But yeah, you Aquaman's. Thing. He lives under the water. He but talks like, to fish. How they? Because I've no. heard they made it cool somehow by no, tying it to some sort of mythology. No. He's like Poseidon, essentially. Essentially, yes. yes. That's just, that's Except he's. They made him slight. They buffed him in the comics ever since yeah. his Cause inception. The initial inception. They basically gave him the powers equal to that of Superman. <coughs> yeah, because they needed to try and make him cool. Because it's like, well, we put him in the Justice League, so he's got to do. He talks to fish still. Something. Well, they made that joke in the trailer. Well, right? I mean, that's everyone yeah. knows. Aquaman. But the only yeah. time he can ever actually do anything really cool is when he's by water. Mm-hmm. Like in the one comic I ha- do have with the Justice League, where they're New Fifty Two, so they're just starting off. Mm. There's, like, bad stuff flying everywhere in Gotham or Metropolis, one of the two. And, <laughs> and, and, and all of a sudden, the beach going. <laughs> no, all of a sudden, one of them's flying, and this shark just, like, jumps out of the water and rips this thing to pieces, and you're like, it's the coolest panel. Oh, yeah. But you sit there going, if they were fighting in the middle of the city, that never would have happened. No, he's got the sewage system to go through. There's water there. <laughs> Cro- crocodiles just jumping out of the... Or just imagine him coming out of the sewer and there's just a bunch of, like, does toilet that... paper on his armor. Does that, mean, like... does that mean Aquaman can control Killer Croc? Depends on how much of Killer Croc is Croc versus human. Mm, that's true. That would be interesting to see. But that's what I mean. So Wonder Woman, I would have gone with a much more oh, ancient flick. All mm. the way back. Yeah, I would have gone super far back. Because, like, she doesn't age. Why right. not? Why not? Like, yeah. that's how you could write that in. Like, it's the same actress. Instead, pick a really boring... Like, again, very important war. It is. Mm. But logistically, on screen, we'll see very how it, boring. We'll see how it works, pans, pans out. I mean, yeah. Eh, yeah. after my recent watching of Suicide Squad, it's... Not looking, not looking no. forward to that. So either way, that's that. we're going to wrap this up and yeah, go to Yeah, it's a pretty thin episode this Hold week. on, let me... Hold on. Except we still managed to have it a half an hour. <laughs> well, we can talk. We're good at talking. So we're going to... It's right behind sure. Graham, but we're going to go to the post credit show. Don't... Spoilers! Whoa! <laughs> you're breaking... We, you're you're breaking allowed, the set! You're not allowed to hear again. <laughs> you had one job. <laughs> you had your one chance. And you messed it up. <laughs> we're going to have to raise the table next. <laughs> it does go up. We'll put books Either who, before yes. we sign off from our newscast, everybody... 
check out our Patreon page at www.patreon.com slash brnn. We've got a lot of crazy cool prizes on there that are things like uh, our pre-show. So instead of the post-show, you can watch us get set up, which today was... <laughs> it was a it gong was, show. It was pretty good. <laughs> I, I don't want to say it's a gong show. It was fun to... It would have been fun to watch. Yeah. It would have been fun if to you, watch. If you... No. Uh, you can we'll drink funny drinks. Yep. We're not including Graham in this one because he never actually signed up for this. But Tony and I will drink dumb drinks. Yes, we'll have to. We still have to find those. Well, we still have to get paid like, for those. So I mean, well, I mean, I'll, I'll buy them. I'll... We'll go to like TNT or the Italian supermarket and actually buy oh. drinks that we don't understand what they are. I figured oh, okay. we could like buy them and show them like this could be in me oh. because yeah. of you. Guaranteed playcasts. <laughs> and again, if we can raise a million dollars a month, we will start Kanye bugging Kanye West, West, West to be on a show. He's not doing much of anything right now, so. Well, his wife just got mugged. We'll I don't care it. about that. We'll call it that. But either way... That's not news. That's not news. And for all of our other content, check out... BarrelRollNews.com. There you go. Like and comment, subscribe, share this video. If this is your first time on the podcast, share it. We are yeah. on Google Play, we are on iTunes. All sorts of stuff. Uh, yeah, whatever social media, mm-hmm. minus Snapchat, basically, and yep. Instagram. So check us out. Thanks for watching or listening, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.